All righty, we're going to go ahead and uh, start. Um, I'll talk as loud as I can without uh, blowing out the microphone. And uh, how's that? Any better? Okay, we'll try that. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's hard to hear what's on that side of the, the speaker. I don't want to blow eardrums. Okay, welcome everyone. You've exceeded our expectations. This is beautiful. You are. You look all beautiful. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, welcome to the groundbreaking for the Laconer Swinomish Library. My name is Jared Fair. I'm the director, and I will be guiding today's proceedings. As you can see, the wind is making things interesting. <laughs> okay, I think we're here. We go. So. Um, Thank you, everyone, um, for joining us to celebrate the importance of this day. I'm incredibly fortunate um, to serve in this position in the company of so many people who have worked tirelessly to bring us to this day, the groundbreaking for the Laconer Swinomish Library. Thank you to everyone. Thank you, everyone, many of whom I have not yet had the opportunity to meet in person. Thank you for your commitment, your amazing efforts over the years, and your continued support as we move forward to build our new Laconer Swinomish Library. We would like to especially recognize and thank all of the volunteers and supporters for their ongoing and generous dedication over the years. Thank you to the friends of the Laconer Regional Library who took on the challenge of opening and operating the Laconer Thrift Shop a library thrift shop at this location for more than seven years with the help of our local Kiwanis Club. Thank you to the individual community members and local service organizations, Laconer Rotary, Seroptimists, and the Philanthropic Educational Organization for their many generous contributions to our capital campaign. Thank you to the Laconer business community and the Chamber of Commerce Thank you to former library director, Joy Neal, who shepherded the project over the years. Thank you to all of our past and current library and foundation board members, library staff, and library patrons. If we have missed anyone from the community whose effort uh, has supported today's celebration, please accept our sincere thanks. Give yourself a round of applause, please. Now I would like to introduce our key partners whose support was vital to making this project a reality, as well as representatives from our two boards and our project team. Representative Dave Paul from the 10th District regrets not being able to, to attend today. He is teaching this afternoon, otherwise he would be here. He sent these remarks to share with all of you. Quote, there is no doubt that Laconer needs a modern library that can better serve our community. We know that our state is stronger when we invest in our communities, and I am proud that this new library will directly contribute to quality of life in Laconer. It is a testament to hard work of the library staff and, and board, volunteers, town leaders, and the Swinomish Indian tribal community. The investment in the Laconer Swinomish Tribal Laconer Swinomish Library provides much needed resources and opens doors in education and opportunity. I'm proud to have partnered with former Representative Norma Smith to help secure state funding and am delighted that the community will be able to enjoy the library as a multicultural resource center. I look forward to joining you at the grand opening when the project is complete. Representative Dave Paul. We welcome Mayor Ramon Hayes from the town of LaConnor. Mayor Hayes was key to introducing our project to our District 10 legislators. He spearheaded one of our trips to Olympia to request state funding, and through the town of LaConnor's sponsorship, he led a successful economic development grant request of $500,000, which was awarded to our project. Mayor Hayes, a few Thank words. You. Thank you so much. When I hear the word community, 
I get excited, right? And when we talk about community, we're talking about the entire community. And the best projects that I've been involved with are those projects that you can't achieve on your own. If it weren't for the volunteers, if it weren't for the foundation, if it weren't for the Swinomish tribe, if it weren't for the county, if it weren't for Representative Dave Paul, none of this would be possible today. So in my short time here, I'm going to leave for another meeting, forgive me. Uh, I would just like us all to give the biggest cheer and round of applause for all of us, because the community made this happen. Thank you, Mayor Hayes. We'd also like to uh, mention that uh, the financial support we received from the state of Washington uh, totaled $1.2 million. This really has been a collaborative effort and everyone has made a difference. We would like to welcome Skagit County Commissioner Ron Wieson, who has dedicated many hours of time as an advocate for our project from meeting with legislators in LaConnor and at the Capitol in Olympia, to supporting our fundraising events, to encouraging and supporting our application with the town of LaConnor for the $500,000 economic development grant from the county. Commissioner Wiesen. Thank you very much. Uh, as Ramon mentioned, this is a community project, and I remember the first meeting that I had uh, at the LaConnor uh, Seafood and uh, Prime Rib House with the board trying to figure out how we can get some money to make this thing happen. And so the county has been in. I've gone down to Olympia several times looking for uh, money from our representatives and uh, Dave Paul and um, Robert Smith were very helpful in that. And then the Swimish tribe, which you've been able to put into this, really helps it out move forward. And as Ramon mentioned, this is a community project and a lot of good projects have happened here in LaConnor just because of everybody coming together, working on a goal and making it happen. Um, reading is very important to our whole community, and that's one of the reasons the county is going ahead with all three of our commissioners supporting this project. So thank you very much. It'll be a great library when it's open, and we're going to enjoy it. So thank you again. Thank you, Commissioner Wieson. We welcome the Swinomish Indian Tribal Community, represented here today by Chairman Steve Edwards. The Swinomish Indian Tribal Community has committed $850,000 to the new LaConnor Swinomish Library. We are excited to be working so closely with the Swinomish Tribe in creating this vital resource and expanded space for our multicultural community. We are honored by their support. Chairman Edwards. Thank you. Uh, can I get... Uh, if you don't mind, Brian Wilbur, JJ, Jennifer, Alicia, I would like them to stand with me because uh, Eric, sorry, Eric. I'd just like to say thank you for gathering today and allowing us to uh, partnership with you. And this is, this is great as it's been said before, for our communities. You know, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a long time and I think we need to uh, bridge these gaps and work as communities because it's very important. We all live here and we all got to learn to work together to make this a better place for not just La Conner, but Swinomish, Shelter Bay, Snews, the whole Skagit County, you know, improvements are important to our county, our county. And uh, you think of the library and, you know, it's a shared space, just like the land and the water. You know, these are shared spaces that we can all gather. We could all, libraries, we could tell stories, we could share stories. You know, th these are important places for not just us today, but in the future for our future generations to come. You know, these are these are learning centers and this will help 
build those relationships as we it, it's important if we're going to be neighbors i hope we can have great relationships with each other and you know i i just i just can't wait until this facility is here and we could gather in a new facility and share those stories share you know the knowledge to our younger generations you know there's history here there's history in la Connor, there's history in swinomish there's history in skagit county we have to share those stories we have to continue sharing those stories for generations and generations to come and i can't thank my senators our general manager and our staff for all the hard work and the relationships they've built with you. You know, without, it's not just me, it's them. We all do this together. We all make great decisions together because we want a better community for all of us. And I can't thank them enough for all their hard work. So thank you. Thank you, Chairman Edwards, Senators, General Manager, and staff. We welcome Joan Scarborough, yeah. President of the Friends of the O'Connor Regional Library. The Friends have championed a new library for more than 20 years and are truly unsung heroes of this effort. Thank you, Jared. Unfortunately, I'm tearing up. Damn. Anyway, it's wonderful to be here. How many times have we answer, ask, been asked the question, either in the library or here in the thrift store? Well, you say you're going to have a new library. When is it going to happen? Today is the day. Today is the day it's going to actually physically get started. Isn't that exciting? And as a friend of the library, of course I will continue to support anything that happens. Well, maybe. And uh, I look forward, as do the rest of us and particularly the friends, to the day our library is open and particularly our community meeting room where we can meet to share those stories, where we can have our Kiwanis meetings and our friends of the library and whatever. Won't that be super? I can hardly wait. Thank you, President Scarborough. We welcome leadership from our two boards. Jean Markert, Chair of the LaConnor Library Board of Trustees. Would you like to say a few words? I just want to say um, that I'm really proud to be here and on behalf of the board, we just thank all of our partners who've worked so hard with us to make this day happen um, over the few last many years. Um, and I think especially we need to acknowledge Susan Masick. Um, she's very humble and doesn't come up front very often, but without her, we would not be here. And without all of our partners, we wouldn't be here. So thank you. Thank you, Jean. Jim Airy, treasurer of the library board and past president of the LaConnor Library Foundation. Well, I'm proud to be here, happy to be here. Uh, and I just want to start by Louder. saying, I'm, I'm proud to be here. I'm loud to be here. I'm happy to be here. The building that will soon stand on this site will be the culmination of a 10-year project to build a new library. But that building will be much more than a library. It will be a special kind of community center. It will be a place that maintains the library's traditional role of promoting lifelong learning, but also provides services and programs to help people of all ages and backgrounds to succeed in a changing world. It will be a welcoming place, one that highlights the richness of our multicultural community and the beauty of our natural environment. 
It will be a place of discovery. It will be a place of connection. And it will be a place of inspiration. And hopefully it will give me help turning this page. <laughs> Let me offer my sincere thanks to all of you who have worked so long and so hard to make this happen. As Mayor Hayes said, it was a community effort, and it truly was, and the community is all of us. And I also want to recognize, in particular, the library's partner in this endeavor, the Swinomish tribe. The tribe saw at once the benefits the new library could offer the Swinomish people. And beyond that, the tribe envisioned the project as building a new bridge across the channel. Yes a new way of bringing our two communities together. Without their steadfast commitment and their generous financial support, this groundbreaking ceremony today would not be taking place. So here we are. After 10 years, we finally get to the fun part, the part where dream becomes reality. And thanks to all of you for that. Thank you, Jim. Judy Menish, president of the LaConnor Library Foundation. Would you like to say a few words? like to think of ourselves as the little library that could. Louder. Thank you. We like to think of ourselves as the little library that could. Um, it's uh, Jim Airy is a hard act to follow. When he was the president of the board, things happened, really happened. But I'm thankful that I'm uh, able to share in that position. Um, I'd like to ask the foundation board members, if you please just raise your hand so people can see who you are. DJ, yeah, board members. Um, many of those people have been with the foundation as it was formed 10 years ago. And many of us have worked side by side during that time to try and see this become a reality. And this is a wonderful day. Thank you, Judy. We welcome our project architect, project manager, and contractor, Matt Alves, principal architect. And Jake, come on up with him. Jake LeVar, project architect. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say what an honor it is to work on this project. We were selected as the architect just about five years ago. So, uh, We've been working, uh, putting our effort and energy into this project for five years, uh, and it's just been incredible to get to this day. Uh, there's so many um, of you that we've worked with uh, during this period um, that have been inspiring to us. Um, I have to mention Jim for his leadership, Jim Mary, and I really have to mention Susan Mesa for her incredible, tireless fundraising and energy and positive support. Thanks, uh, Susan. I, I never thought without you, we wouldn't be here. It's also an incredible honor to meet and work with Sonoma's elder and master carver, Kevin Paul, and uh, the, uh, to list to him as he described the story pole, which is going to be at the front and center of this library. And there's three themes on this pole, as I understand it, uh, uh, from Kevin. Um, the theme of welcoming, the theme of sharing, and the theme of knowledge. Uh, and that really says it all, as everyone else has said today, about what a library is all about. Lastly, there's a few partners here today that we'd like to recognize for their support. Tire Construction is here, uh, who's going to be building the building. Um, their expertise and knowledge of, and, and their partnership is, is really valued and welcome. We have Boggin Timbers uh, here today. Boggin is supplying the, um, the cross-laminated timber panels, which are the uh, highly sustainable structural system that we designed the library around. And then also Sierra Pacific, who's been providing timber uh, uh, for the project as well. Thank you for all of your support. And Jake, of course, will be here. Uh, with me helping uh, the, the, the Tiger team make this building happen. Thank you.
Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Jake. I don't know how many, I would say dozens, I want to say hundreds of hours I spent with uh, these two gentlemen before I ever actually met them face to face. It was, <laughs> it was a fun moment when we finally met. Uh, Jeremy McNett. <laughs> I know who he is, I promise. Well, um, I can say how great it is for the community that has come together to build this library, but I think we all know how great it's been. Um, so I'd like to thank the behind the scenes team, which is Building Works, uh, Tiger Construction, obviously Susan and Jim for all their hard work. And uh, not only that, but the town of La Conner, planning department, Brian Lease, uh, Public Works, and Skagit County. Uh, they've done a great job being partners with us while we've been going through our permitting process, which with COVID and everything else going on in the world has been very challenging. Um, and, you know, we have a nice clean site here, but behind the scenes, it's like a tornado. And so thank you to Sean and Tiger Construction. And thank you to Building Works, Jake and Matt, for all your hard work. Uh, it's taken a long time to get here. Um, and I would say it was easy. It wasn't too challenging, but... It took a lot of your efforts, and I appreciate that, and thank you. And Sean Burkhart, project manager from Tiger Construction. Thank you. Well, I didn't prepare much to say today here, but... I have heard how much effort it's taken to get this going here, get us to this point, and uh, we'll say we are very excited to be a part of it and be here to, be, to build it for you guys. Um, we've seen it on paper. Uh, Building Works has put together some pretty cool plans, and I've got a feeling it's going to look even better when we're done building it, and hopefully it uh, provides you guys what you're looking for and maybe exceeds some expectations along the way. So thanks for, uh, thanks for everything, and we're happy to be a part of it. Welcome everyone. I just cannot believe we're here and it's not raining. It's so exciting. My name is Susan Masick. I'm the have had the honor of being the director of the Laconer Library Foundation since it was formed, working with wonderful people for a number of years. We're all a little grayer, some of us who started being gray, <laughs> but we're here and we are so honored to have the partnerships that we've been blessed with through this time. And today I would like to um, welcome my friend, Swinomish Tribal member, Master Carver, member of the Library Board of Trustees, Kevin Paul. He's going to lead us in a blessing. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Uh, first of all, I'd like to um, thank all of you. And I'd like to thank the leadership uh, for being here today on this day of, um, you know, history that's uh, gonna be here for La Conner and Swinomish. I was asked to do a, um, a blessing uh, song for, for the ground, for here. Uh, but first of all, I would like all of you, all of you to take this time and raise your hands like this. Raise your hands like that. In our language, in our language, it means thank you, thank you. But in your language, it means touchdown. <laughs> okay, anyway, a little bit of humor. Now, I just want, I just want to invite some of the, uh, some of the senators up, uh, come on up, and some of the lady singers to come and help uh, help me sing. Uh, we're going to share a song. It's called Yankee Doodle. Hey, <laughs> 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 
No, the song oh, we're gonna, to the song we're gonna share, uh, it's from our canoe family, and it's um, it's called the Eagle Blessing. So we're gonna do that blessing here today for you.
touchdown. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the Swinomish tribe. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone for coming today. We are excited to watch the progress of this library and we look forward to all the benefits and opportunities it will bring to our community. At this time, we would like to proceed to the formal groundbreaking. We will have three rounds of groundbreaking uh, and with shovels and photographs. Every, everyone here today is invited to take part and get your picture taken. Please stick around and take a turn. We'll have round one, then round two, and then fight for a shovel. I don't know. Just <laughs> come up and if you don't have someone taking a picture of, on your phone for you, we can help. Let's make sure everyone gets a photo who wants one. Uh, for, for round one, will the following individuals please come forward uh, and line up right along here. We're going to line up facing south, right along this edge, and uh, and then I'll, uh, once everyone is in place, I will uh, give the word to, to 3 two, one dig or something like that. You can slide that way just a little bit. We got a few more people to fit in here. Okay. And as soon as our. You ready to go? Okay, looks like we're ready to go. Three, two, one, big! <laughs> It's a little softer if you move forward. <laughs> Throw some dirt. <laughs> All right. That's great. Thank you. Uh, and now, uh, unless you want to do a crazy pose or something, I don't know. We're, 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 anyway, we'll go to round two. Um, if you, uh, Jeremy, Jake, Matt, Jim, Sean, Susan, myself, and uh, and then again, we'll just have a couple iterations here before we turn it loose. We'd love to get a, a picture with all the, the tribal members here as well. Kevin, are you still here? Hey, Kevin, can you join us for round two? Um, so if we could have the tribal members come forward and take a shovel, if, if please. Who are we missing? Rudy. Oh, I get a turn. Yes, absolutely. Brian, Brian, please. Okay. Come join us. Brian again. Oh, 
You can't have too many photos, ever. Okay, three, two, one, big! Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh.